It's on page 22. The ladies of the charity shop were given a brand new till. They never got the hang of it, and now they never will. They only approached it in groups of three with expressions of loathing and pain. One to press buttons, one to have kittens, and one to try it again. The ladies of the charity shop were a most harmonious clique. They all popped in on a rota basis at least three mornings a week to drink gallons and gallons and gallons of tea and have a good chin wag about cardigans, ornaments, wrestling tournaments, gallbladders, goiters and gout. The ladies of the charity shop maintained with no hint of apology that they never expected to find themselves at the forefront of till technology. The old model suited them down to the ground. When they wanted to bring some cash in the draw up jam, they bothered and damned and gave it a good old bash. The ladies of the charity shop have been in darkest morning since a quarter to ten last Wednesday, but without the slightest warning, as they opened the new till to put in a pound, the contraption showed its teeth, gave a frightful roar, like a carnivore, and swallowed Jemima Moncrief. The ladies of the charity shop phoned divisional headquarters. No repairman came, but the TV crew and a posse of press reporters. One asked the ladies a question with a tabloid glint in his eye. Was the victim nude? They said, don't be rude. This isn't the WI. <laughs> the ladies of the charity shop have sold off all their stock to a nice young man with a transit van in a store on Camden Lock. At their manager's suggestion, they all went on the spree, got merry on Sherry, on the Brittany Ferry, and buried the till at sea. Thank you. <laughs>